Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Today's project comes from Bernie on Ohio who very generously sent it in so that everybody here on the channel can enjoy this very rare wrench and uh, let's get to it right away. Okay, today's project is a great one. It comes from a good friend of mine, Bernie in Ohio. He, uh, you'll see him under the comments there under a Helping Handyman. And um, what's great about these pliers, uh, I, I'm going to be doing an upcoming thing on plier wrenches and, and I have a bunch of them. They're really great. But this is a, an, another type of tool that came out. And before I demonstrate how it works and everything, I want you to look at the condition and whatnot. It's beautiful. It's a really nice shape. These are kind of rare. You never see them around anymore. And we're going to talk about why they uh, they were so uh, such a great idea. But it's called the Grip and Stick. And uh, they were out of Dover, Ohio. And this is, goes back to, you can see, 1924 when these were uh, big. And, and I have a few ads that will follow this. And uh, Bernie had come across this tool and Bernie restores tools himself and he, he's a big woodworker, makes some beautiful stuff, great platters and everything. And he sends me pictures and I send him and it's just amazing the stuff he produces. But he sent this in to the channel. He says, I think your viewers would be really interested. In, uh, and really, this is just a beautiful piece. So let me show you what it is and uh, what it does. But first, we're going to clean it up. To what it used to look like now like I said this wrench really didn't need anything but we just took a nice cleaning to it to make it look like it did from the factory okay we're calling the wrench done and uh, all we did was basically uh, because there's nothing wrong there was absolutely nothing wrong with this wrench except a little uh, tarnish over the years and whatnot but this is exactly the way the wrench would have come from the factory and um, what's so interesting about this design now this was a copy off the Eiferman wrench the uh, plier wrench and uh, what's so interesting about this, you could see it works like a regular plier. When you open this up all the way, you could slide the jaws in and out to get a different uh, closure ratio. And what the uh, inventors and developers realized is that when the pliers are in this position, you get your most force when you're mostly closed. You have very little force when the pliers are open like this. So the, the closer they are together, the more force you can hold. And that's the idea behind this wrench, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. features of a, uh, a plier wrench compared to a normal pliers, as you see when you open a normal pliers, you have an arcing action, and that never allows you to get a parallel grip. The only time the jaws are parallel is when it's closed. So uh, it's very difficult when you go onto another something, you're only going to grab the corners, and it gives you a good chance of stripping. You don't have a lot of power. However, with a plier wrench, you could see it, the parallel jaw action opens and closes it's always parallel so when you put that onto the nut you have very little chance of stripping it and this was one of the selling points of a plier wrench type wrench on a non-adjusting plier like my beautiful croydus right here if i wanted to grab this nut like this you see how wide my hand is open my hand is is open quite wide you know so it's like this wide is very difficult to to get a good grip because the hand and you know unless you got monster hands whereas uh here with the grip and stick, you could see the way we have the jaws adjusted. When I get that locked on here, now the pliers are very close. I can get tremendous force on here because I'm at that, my hands at my strongest, almost closed. And if I come over here to the smaller nut, I could just move the jaw in just a little bit and I get the same kind of uh, same action over here. So you can get it all the way in. You can have, there's a few different adjustments, you know, very close or very wide. If the widest it goes is about that wide. Now I guess what I find so intriguing about these pliers is after looking, doing some research on trying to find out about them, again, uh, they were out of Dover, Ohio, and uh, the patent date you could see was uh, 1924. But these were up for sale about 1925. They were pretty much all over the place. And what happened was in the back of uh, popular mechanics magazines, you would have all kinds of ads. And the advertisements would say, uh, they were looking for people to distribute these, just regular people. So um, what you would do if you were a handyman, let's say like myself or something, and you just wanted some extra money, you would buy these samples from the company and they would run you $2.75 for a pair of pliers. Then you would go into a shop like a garage or something and say, hey, listen, I want you to try these out. These things are great. They, and you, you would sell them basically. And uh, at, you bought them at $2.75. If you sold them at $3.75 or $4.00, you know, that was a big profit back then so um, that's what was happening these people were buying these up by the case and going and selling these almost like door to door that's why these are kind of rare except you do see them in Ohio <laughs> but you don't see them too much anywhere else 
And uh, the beauty of it is, you know, somebody could go up, buy a bunch of these, and just sell them to your local gas station and, you know, auto plus store or anywhere else. So, but uh, then you had to just keep expanding your area if you wanted to keep selling them. But um, they were around for a couple of years, and I guess uh, because of that fact that people were running out of room, the company went out of business, and uh, and that's why you don't see too many of these around. But really interesting wrench, uh, a, 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 just a joy to work on. Again, this is exactly the way it would have looked when it was, you know, when you bought a sample for yourself. And um, again, thanks to Bernie. So if uh, when you see his his comment down below, just give him a thumbs up and for his appreciation for sending in for the channel. And uh, again, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and restoration sort of of this uh, gripping stick. It's 707 uh, from Dover, Ohio. Ply wrench. Thanks very much. Take care. Have a nice day.